Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is February 24, 2018. Today we will be viewing an eclipse lasting 5 hours and 20 minutes. All of the images you are about to see came in today from the Federal Aviation Weather Cam located in Attawa Piscuit, Ontario in Canada. This video is in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. In this video, we see a planet that we have been watching for months. We know it is getting closer to the Earth because the eclipse is taking more time than it did before. And the texture is more pronounced. In the morning, the sun pulsates over on the left as it rises in the east. This is because it is being eclipsed, as we discussed in a previous video. The sun appears to cross in front of an unbelievably enormous celestial object. At exactly 11.40 a.m., which is equal to 16.40 universal time as stamped on the image, the sun suddenly shrinks to one-fifth its size. The landscape suddenly darkens as if it is late evening. What you are seeing now is not the sun. This is the flashlight sun. It is an incredibly intense light source located between the earth and the sun, much closer to the earth. The real sun is currently behind the planet, and the flashlight sun passes in front of the planet in an attempt to conceal this eclipse. As the flashlight sun continues to track with the sun in perfect synchronization, it finally passes over this mammoth celestial object. The real sun then emerges from behind the planet, the landscape brightens, and the sun resumes its previous size again. We believe this is the same celestial object that was captured on the Huna, Alaska weather cam eight days ago on February 17th. At 12.30 p.m. local time in Alaska in the afternoon, it was nearly invisible from the atmospheric chemicals on the right side of the screen. An hour later, both the sun and the flashlight sun are close enough to the object to cast light upon it, revealing its unbelievable size. The camera field is not big enough to see the top or the bottom of this celestial object. Here is a contrast enhanced view of that same object. Notice how the flashlight sun attempts to completely engulf this enormous object in its glare. This is yet another function of the eclipse concealment system built into the flashlight sun. Back to Attawa Piscuit, Ontario. We'll replay this five hour eclipse. And this time, look at the background texture as the flashlight sun moves across this celestial object. The texture is more pronounced than it was weeks or months ago. As the flashlight sun passes in front of this planet, it exposes the unique texture. Notice that the background texture does not move. The flashlight sun moves, but the background texture remains stationary. This object is part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.